Hi, I'm going to show you how to add forms to your transaction for a buyer's transaction, how to find the forms, and um, keep in mind that we're using the Georgia Association of Realtor or GAR forms, and that every transaction does not use all of the same forms. So you may have a transaction that uses different forms, but you'll have a general idea on how to find those forms and how to import them into your transaction. So this is actually my listing, 1018 Corinth, five point, Corinth Five Points Road, and we're going to use it. So I have created, I've gone into Paragon, uh, found that particular listing, clicked on the icon here and created the transaction. And I'm on the wizard now, so I'm going through and making sure that I have all of the information that I need, that I have added uh, my offer date, and all of the contacts that need to be on the transactions and on all the forms I mean and so here I am on the add forms tab now you may have already created your transaction and you're going to add forms in a different way but I'll show you that in just a minute so we'll add some of them here so we know that if we're doing a purchase we've got to have the purchase and sale agreement and I know that that form is number F201 so you can type that in here and it's going to come up or you could also type in purchase and then a lot, a lot of documents will come up, so we'll narrow that a little bit more by typing in and. There's the commercial purchase and sell. So let's type in sell to see if it narrows that a little bit further, and it did not. So just by purchase, and we're going to scroll over here and find the F201 purchase and sell agreement, which is right here. And then you just fill in the dot here with a check mark. And you can continue and add uh, additional documents. You don't have to add uh, them individually. So we're also going to have a um, contingency for the loan. I'm sorry, not a contingency, an exhibit, a conventional exhibit. So you type in conventional or the uh, document number if you know it and click here. That's all I'm going to add for now. So then you just click on your basket. I'm sorry, you don't click on your basket. My tab is hidden behind my recorder button so you click on the blue add there it puts your documents into the transaction you can click next and then you're done with your wizard it opens up to your agent dashboard on this transaction and right here are the forms that you added now if you decide you need additional forms here's the second way to add them you can click on the button here to add forms and it brings up the same search box you find the documents that you need, you click the add button, and uh, they'll show up here in this box as well. So that's the two ways that you can add forms to your transaction. This was a buyer's transaction. If you're doing a listing transaction, obviously you're going to add your listing agreement um, and any other listing documents like your seller's property disclosure or lead-based paint that you may need. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate you watching. This is Patty Loveless with the Compass and Key team.